Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite web designer, Gardner, the Linux gamer. Uh, I might not be your favorite web designer, who knows, but uh, today I'm going to be super, super nerdy as opposed to my regular nerd nerdiness. We're going to talk about something that I think the web really needs. This is something that I have been thinking about for a couple weeks, and I said, you know what? I don't know how to write a W3C proposal. I'm gonna put this out there to you guys and I'm gonna see if other people think that this is a good or cool or fun idea. Um, so yeah, basically I'm a huge fan, huge fan, like more than is okay of Markdown. Some people might not understand why it is I like Markdown as much as I do. And the reason is threefold, I think. The first reason is that Markdown uh, is simple, like pretty much everyone can understand it. Uh, it's readable, where uh, HTML is not really that readable unless you know HTML. If you're reading an unparsed Markdown document, you just know that like asterisks means emphasis. You just know that underlines surrounding a phrase means emphasis. You understand that like a hash mark means a header. You you get that. It just visually, it's very readable. And the third reason is that Markdown is just powerful. I mean, you can do much of what you would expect to be able to do in a rich text editor in Markdown. Uh, I think Markdown is one of the easiest and uh, most effective ways of actually uh, styling text. And it's super powerful as someone who already kind of understands programming to just use Markdown. Uh, Markdown just makes me so happy. And I like to integrate Markdown into my websites when I'm designing things. Uh, but the problem is you end up having to use a lot of tools in order to actually get Markdown into HTML format. And I said to myself, that sucks. So let's talk about what I have uh, kind of done here. All right, so what we have here is a pretty bare bones uh, HTML document. Uh, and what I would like to see is actually have Markdown integrated into the HTML5 spec. The first thing that I would like to have is a new tag. This new tag uh, would function a lot like a uh, pre-formatted tag or a pre-tag, and it would look like this. Um, so I think that this would be really cool. Having a markdown tag in HTML5, instead of having to run your plain text through a some kind of tool, like either JavaScript or PHP or whatever you use, uh, you could just include the text inline inside one of these tags, and it would uh, it would just parse it. The browser itself would parse the markdown. Now the way this would work is that we would have to get this in front of the uh, W3C. They would have to go through this, hammer out a completed proposal, and create a recommendation that uh, web browsers would actually implement this into the browser. And you might be thinking, that's insane. Why would you ever want that? HTML is already really good at, at, at marking up uh, text. Why would anyone want this? <laughs> and that's a fair question. Uh, I have a couple reasons that I think that this is a really cool and interesting and fun idea. The first thing is that I think that this would help the entire web, okay? So Markdown as it stands right now is kind of fragmented. There's a bunch of different flavors of Markdown. Uh, there's a bunch of different implementations. There are a bunch of extensions for Markdown. Like if you go on GitHub, the GitHub flavored Markdown as they call it, uh, has like tables and inputs and a bunch of other things that are not uh, part of the uh, original spec. And, and parse down, the PHP Markdown parser actually has some extensions that lets you uh, add uh, anchor points to your headings. Um, all of these are really cool and super interesting, but the fact is different implementations of Markdown have different uh, syntax. And that's annoying to me because I like to have consistency. <laughs> So that's the first thing that I believe this would do for the web, is it would standardize Markdown. The next thing that it would do is it would allow websites to have a universal styling language, which hypothetically, if it's done correctly, wouldn't need much in the way of user sanitization. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you're developing like server infrastructure and yada, 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 uh, if you allow users to uh, give you some kind of input, uh, be it you know a comment that you need to then 
later show to uh, other people. If someone submitted like a, for example, closing div tag, and then you were to render that closing div tag in uh, your website, it could royally screw up the way your website looks. And so in order to, to uh, fix that, you actually have to sanitize user content. That means most of the time when someone submits a comment, uh, if they include like a bold tag or an emphasis tag, then those just get stripped out and you end up not being able to actually style your comments on the web. Now, if this were part of the HTML5 spec, then um, you would be able to allow your users to submit uh, markdown plain text. You would be able to strip out HTML tags from their text and still allow their text to be styled the way that they intended, more or less. That's really cool. That would be such a game changer in terms of user interaction uh, on the web. The next thing that I think it would do is it would allow a common feature set for comment sections blogging platforms and anywhere where user input is allowed. Because, you know, on Reddit and on uh, GitHub and on different websites that allow Markdown, uh, you have similar feature sets. You can even use uh, some kinds of Markdown when you're texting people through Facebook Messenger, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a long time since I've used it. But the issue is that a lot of these places that accept uh, user input with Markdown in it either only support a subset of Markdown or they extend Markdown to the point where you don't know what you're gonna get when you submit your Markdown text. If this were a thing, this would not only standardize Markdown, but it would also allow for a common feature set across the entire web. And it would make Markdown, which is already pretty ubiquitous, fairly standard uh, across different websites. And that would be an excellent thing. And the next thing that it would do is it would make the web a prettier place to live. I've already talked about this a little bit, but like if user comments were able to be universally uh, styled in the same language, you know, that would be amazing. That would make the web just prettier and more awesome uh, because right now, most of the time, user comments don't really have much in the way of styling. Uh, and that is a shame because I really think that we need the web to be prettier. Now you can use the BBS uh, square brackets in some websites and you can use Markdown to limited extents in different places, but every website has a different styling language or a different feature set. So if there was a common way for people to style their comments, uh, if there was a common way for blog posts to style their uh, blog posts, all of these things just living together using the same markdown syntax, that would just make the web a better place to be. Uh, so that's, those are my reasons for wanting this. Now let's talk about like the ideas that I have for this actual specification. You'll notice that we have the uh, markdown tag here. Uh, this markdown tag isn't part of the spec, uh, but it is being highlighted anyway because HTML5 is pretty robust. Typically you would do something like that if you wanted to create your own tag, but because we are uh, proposing this, we're gonna just go with markdown like that. Uh, so I think that this tag would be uh, one of the many ways that we could uh, implement Markdown. Uh, I also think that we could do something like this, where we do pre and then Markdown. So basically the Markdown tag and the pre tag would behave pretty much the same. But basically the, the Markdown attribute would parse the, the text inside the pre tag and then it would output uh, the formatted text. And this would be something that lives in the browser and so you wouldn't actually parse this into HTML, but we'll get to that in a moment. The next uh, thing that I think would be really cool to have is something like this. So basically a markdown tag with the content editable attribute would, would be a way for uh, browsers to support robust, like rich text editing, but in a plain text format. Uh, as you would type, the browser would automatically be parsing what you're typing and you would have a literal WYSIWYG editor for markdown in your browser. Uh, I think that that would be absolutely fantastic because how many different ways, how many different projects are wasting their time implementing uh, all of these different uh, <laughs> markdown editors in JavaScript in HTML when it could just be done once by the browser. And this would be cool because you would be able to have different JavaScript attributes that you could listen for. Then you could just create some custom Chrome for this element that would let you uh, be able to edit this, like to be able to add bold or italic formatting to your document. Uh, I think that that would be fan.
fantastic. <laughs> You'd also be able to do inline markdown stuff for, with the MD tag. Uh, I don't know if that's completely necessary, but I think that that would be a nice complement to uh, this whole feature set. The next thing I'm proposing, uh, by default, the markdown tag would not parse HTML. And by default, you would actually end up seeing the plain text with the angle brackets and HTML characters inside it. Uh, it would not parse HTML. But if you add the HTML attribute and allow HTML, then you could actually allow HTML markdown. But the idea that I have is that the markdown tag is actually somewhat special in that uh, if you were to create a div tag and not close it, the browser would know anything inside markdown must be closed before you continue processing the document. So it would be sort of a clean room tag that wouldn't allow any kind of escaping of uh, block elements into the rest of the document. I think that that would be freaking sweet. <laughs> now you might be asking, this is great and everything, but how would you actually style any of this? The answer to that question is actually pretty simple. Let's go over to my CSS file. So CSS has pseudo class selectors uh, and, uh, CSS3 has pseudo element selectors. Uh, that's denoted by the uh, double colons versus the single colons. Instead of parsing markdown as HTML in the document, I think that we should do something a little bit different. So first let's talk about the markdown tag itself. Now you'll notice that this is white and uh, that's because markdown is not an actual tag. If I were to do that, it would be a custom tag and be blue, but this is what we're dealing with now because it's not part of the spec. So if you wanted to show uh, just the plain text and not parse the HTML, all you would do is put in display pre-formatted or pre, and uh, that would just show the plain text. There's no formatting going on at all. The next thing that you would do is if you wanted to have the uh, markdown parsed, you could do markdown parse as the display or whatever the proposal would be. Uh, and that would show a totally styled markdown block uh, but it would hide the syntax. So uh, instead it, it would, you know, convert, you know, this into italics and then hide these, uh, these asterisks, okay? But the other thing that would be really cool to have is something like this. Uh, we would have Markdown highlighted and this would show uh, the Markdown styled but also with visible syntax. This would be excellent to use with the uh, content editable tag. So you would be able to have a pseudo WYSIWYG sort of deal going on. That would be freaking awesome. The next thing that would be awesome to have uh, is pseudo elements. So this is what I think the format should look like. You would have your, uh, your selector here, and then you would be able to select images inside your uh, markdown. And you could say float left. You could also select paragraphs uh, and display them as blocks, give them a margin, give them text indentation, all that stuff. You would also be able to do bold, italic, uh, unorganized lists, list items, and uh, all of these would be able to be used uh, to select the elements of your uh, actual markdown. Um, instead of having it rendered into like a uh, you know, markdown uh, B tag, instead of doing that, which I feel like could get messy, this is a simpler and I feel like more elegant solution that I feel like would make uh, styling of markdown in HTML super, super cool. Like just, isn't that nice? Isn't that cool looking? Oh my gosh, I love that. Uh, I debated on whether or not to put a space here uh, to, to say that this is an image, uh, a markdown image child of the markdown tag. I think that uh, that would be best left to someone who's a little more technically minded than me, uh, thinking through the actual implications of doing this versus doing that. Um, but I think that no matter what, this would be a freaking cool way to actually uh, get this stuff to work. Now, here's the thing. I, I, I also was debating on whether or not to do image and have, uh, or image, right? Like, should these actually be the P or the paragraph, you know what I'm saying? The idea that I have is that these would inherit the uh, the equivalent of, uh, you know, an emphasis, an emphasis or a strong tag or a paragraph tag or an image tag. So uh, whatever your styling is for other elements in the page, you would kind of end up uh, inheriting those. Uh, but I don't know if it makes more sense to do image, you know what I'm saying? The other thing is, 
I don't know. I feel like this just looks nicer, honestly, like a markdown image versus a markdown image, you know? So I don't know. I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is actually a, uh, a good idea? I would love to know your thoughts. Um, let me know in the comments. If any of you think this is a good idea and you have experience writing like technical proposals, uh, reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. I'd love to get this in front of someone who can actually take this to a committee at the WC3. I feel like this is a good thing. I think that this is cool and it would make the web a nicer place. So let me know, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And also just let me know if you like this. Like I have a lot of these ideas. I do a lot of uh, coding and I I've come up with a bunch of ideas uh, that I feel could make coding uh, just easier, better, cooler. So if you wanna hear more of this kind of stuff from me, let me know about that as well. Um, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can also pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.